So yeah, so you guys are ready to film? Um, yeah. Really? Ready? Oh, well, let's see. It is recording. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and not. you know I'm gonna use this. Don't in the show beginning. the beginning. I am. <laughs> it's really awkward. No. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have my friends here. I have Inea. Hi. I have Ariel. Hi. And they are here to talk about curly hair. So we're gonna have like a curly hair chat. And um, yeah, I brought them on the channel because as you guys can see, they have different curls um, than I do. And so I just wanted to give you guys some more, I don't know, um, a different aspect of curls from other people. Different things mm -hmm. of what other curl girls use on their hair and their tips and tricks and stuff like that. So we're going to get started. First point, your tip for winter hair. So um, my, well I have I guess a few tips. So. Um, what I currently do now is um, the I use Diva Curl products, so I use the well, um, the No Poo and the One Condition, and I detangle using the One Condition. And I have a video I'll link it down below already about how I style my hair. And then I like to use um, the light defining gel, um, and then these are the One Condition and No Poo here. And um, what I've lately been doing is adding a little bit of jojoba oil, which actually I forgot to bring down, but I've showed that in another video before. But I like to add a little bit of jojoba oil, especially to the back of my hair back here, because that tends to get the most dry and the most knotty. Um, so I just like to add it to the ends. Um, so that's my like tip for my hair. And I also um, have been um, using a diffuser. I don't like to put it on high heat and high right away. Um, that's the quickest, but I try not to do that because my hair is dry um, for the winter time. So I've just kind of been lightly like drying it that way um, on like low heat, and um, then it's like kind of somewhat dry, and then I'll like head out because it has been really cold this year in California. Last year it wasn't that cold, so I didn't really use a diffuser. But this year has been cold for me, so yeah. And I know Ariel said that she uses a diffuser. Yeah. Too, so, yeah. I am Diffuser is my go-to for winter hair. I pretty much have the same routine, but um, in the winter, my hair is just not gonna air dry. It's gonna take forever. So um, definitely my diffuser. I have a more expensive hair dryer that I swear by. Mm -hmm. It's called the Elchim, um, and it just does wonders. Yeah, gotta use that. Yeah. Gotta try that out. And what is your um, your routine? Like, what is your routine? Um, so. As of this year, I've become a diva curl girl, <laughs> die hard. So um, currently, the products I use are the first I in the shower use the Diva Care No Poo Lather Cleanser and de detangle my hair um, with my hands instead of a brush. Um, that way, it doesn't mess up your curl. Um, so that's the diva way to do it. Then I follow up with the Diva Care One Condition which is amazing and when I wash out most of the conditioner, I leave a little bit in, um, I follow up with two different products by Diva Curl. Um, I squeeze out a lot of the water from my hair but leaving some of the water in um, and while I'm in the shower, I actually put in the Frizz Free Voluminizing Foam um, and the From Hold Defining Gel and I make sure I get every section of my hair without combing through my curls that the conditioner formed. Do you um, like scrunch it into your hair or do you like rake it in your hair like with your fingers? I just like glaze over my hair but then I make sure I get throughout my whole head mm -hmm. and but I don't want to rake it through because that would mess up the curl. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then squeeze out more water, probably put more product in um, and then hop out of the shower and just um, I let it dry for a little bit, and then I use my hair dryer and diffuser. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do the same thing like with the gel. Yeah. I don't rake it through. I just like leave mm -hmm. it so that my curls have that definition that um, from like the uh, conditioner because it definitely defines your curls like yeah. a lot. It's really good. Like Diva Curl products are really good. I really enjoy them too. 
and I don't break it through. I just kind of flip my head over and kind of glaze over and scrunch. So yeah, mm -hmm. I did something really similar to that too. Yeah. How about you, Anaya? As far as winterizing my hair, I <laughs> I am dangerously low maintenance. Like <laughs> I really just want to roll out of bed and go. Oh yeah. But I have noticed that lately, um, when I do twist outs like today. Um, towards the end, there's I can see split ends, so I think in the winter months, winter months here in LA, um, split ends are more noticeable. So I just clip those off myself, actually. Yeah. And also another thing, if I air dry by the time I get to work, um, I can see towards the end the curl isn't as defined, which is another split end issue. But when I get it out of the shower, before I put any product in, I don't towel dry my hair at all. I just like shake it out like it's literally dripping wet and then I put the products in or leave-in conditioner, this one actually. Um, and oil too, like olive oil actually works the best on my hair. Oh cool. And then I don't have to, the whole towel business does not, does not. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, never we were talking about a, a cotton towel. Yeah, right? yeah. Never use a cotton towel. They say use a t-shirt, but I even that's a t -shirt. more yeah. annoying because then I'm like, this isn't really doing much. I yeah. actually today, um, because I usually use this towel to dry my hair with. It's a microfiber towel, mm -hmm. but according to uh, Ariel, <laughs> no, it's really microfiber. She's like, I was a towel inspector. Well, no, actually, it says microfiber polyester, eighty percent, whatever that is. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to go that and works. purchase an actual real microfiber towel so that I'm not, like, making my hair bad. <laughs> but um, I used a towel, I mean, not a towel, I used a t-shirt today, like an old t-shirt that I mm -hmm. cut up, tried to make it cute, and it was a total fail. So I used it to, like, um, dry my hair, and also because I just dyed my hair last week, so it's still running, like, the black out, so I don't want to, like, stain any... Thing that I actually kind of like like mm -hmm. so I just took that t-shirt and like I tied it up and like I was scrunching it just to get like some ex excess water out of my hair so, yeah yeah a t-shirt works yeah I use a t-shirt or a microfiber towel I use a diva diva curl microfiber towel she says she's a diva um, curl girl <laughs> so but the thing is with the cotton towels um it just actually takes away too much moisture from your hair yep. and you want that moisture in your curls like we need it in order for them to look defined and frizz free yeah. yeah so it makes a huge difference yeah. definitely don't skimp on that yep water is very important <laughs> for your skin your hair everything so yeah definitely don't try to like dry your hair completely with a towel and then sometimes mm -hmm. have you ever noticed like when you have a regular towel like well when you were like younger before we started this whole trying to make sure that our curls are like on point but have you ever noticed like your curl, like your hair gets stuck in the towel and when you go to take the towel out, some of your hair gets like pulled out? That never happened? It happened to me. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I've never no, yeah, it, it, it gets totally. like stuck in those little loops. Huh. And then like I felt like some hair get pulled out, but okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're gonna um, go on to the next. Um, oh wait, before we do, what is your uh, process of like doing your hair? Like, you know, shampoo or if you don't shampoo, Kind of go into that so they can get an idea. Okay, so I only shampoo like once a month. Everything else is just conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, and then the shampoo bottle is always like this full, and then the conditioning always. bottle is always. like down here. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm gonna shampoo, like I shampooed last night, it actually feels really weird because my hair gets like it feels so clean and squeaky yeah. that it I feel like it's getting even more tangled up. Yeah. But I'll shampoo first. And I just tried the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Shampoo, and it smells really good. It does. I opened it up today, and I'm like, ooh, I want to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. Um, and then afterwards, I used this same container, same brand, um, Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And you can either just use it as a shampoo for like 10 minutes, or you can do the whole 30-minute with heat thing. Usually I just stay in the shower. Yep. <laughs> and then um, when I get out and it's still dripping wet, then I put a leave-in conditioner in, which I showed you this one before. Yeah, what's the brand? Um, Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning mm -hmm. Repair Cream. Ooh, okay. And a little bit goes a long way. Um, I want to smell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never tried this, so... Oh, this smells good. <laughs> it smells like coconuts, like mm. or like a. It smells like a pina colada, actually, to mm, me. I do like pina <laughs> yeah. 
Um, and then if I'm styling my hair, like if I twist my hair, the next morning when I wake up, before I like unravel the ends, I put this Frizzies by John Freda um, on the end so that when I'm like untwisting it, it's not just like frizz fest. Mm. And then okay. that's really been working. I used to use this when I was flat ironing my hair more often. Um, but then I watched a YouTube video and someone just suggested putting like conditioner on the ends before you unravel it and that made sense and this is for frizz and I get frizz if I'm not careful with unraveling so mm. those are my go-to's that I've been using. Alright, awesome. And is this some, like are these kind of the products you tend to use even in the summertime or is it because it's winter and you I product it? hop a lot. I was using Nature's Gate, which you get at Whole Foods for like seven or eight dollars. It's mm -hmm. really good. And it has um they have different flavors, but <laughs> they have biotin in one. And when I was using that on my hair, like it was coming to life. Oh, but nice. then I read somewhere that your hair gets used to a product. Um, and I found that my hair would just stop reacting in the beginning, so I just hop around and try stuff. Yeah. This is fine for now. I'm sure I'll, something else will catch up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's so many products out there that, like, I yeah. kind of want to, like, try yeah. and stuff. This smells so good, so I kind of want to mm -hmm. try that. And I definitely want to try that, uh... They have the best packaging. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. love their packaging. It's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Um... Oh, another thing that I wanted to mention um, for like winter tip is definitely deep condition your hair. I think more often than probably in the summertime because depending on like where you live, I know um, we're all not even originally from, Ca well actually I was born in California, but I didn't grow up here. Um, but we're all from like, East Coast. yeah, we're from the East Coast and um, there you have more like humidity and more moisture yeah, in the more air. Yeah, harsh. Yeah, so like I don't, I don't really feel like I have to deep condition my hair as often because I think of the moisture that was in the air. Um, when I moved here, I felt like it was so much more dry because I like it's desert outside. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so I deep condition my hair and um, when I dyed my hair the other day, um, I was like, I'm going to do a deep condition. Um, treatment like really quick while I'm in the shower and then I like wanted to shave my legs at the same time So I use the Shea Moisture deep treatment mm -hmm. mask and it's super thick like I've used other ones and I like them, but this one. I don't know. It's like super thick. Wow Yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> yeah but I knew it wasn't going to like fall. She knows her product. <laughs> yeah, so it was really really thick and I felt like it definitely like um, but after I did this I like rinsed it out then I followed up with the no poo and the one condition because I'm addicted to those two because really that it's the bomb yeah. um, so I followed up with that and like my hair was really soft and so I was really happy but like I said I, I, um, I had dyed it so it, it was dry and kind of hard to detangle today but I used my trusty no poo and one condition and so yeah got those curls out so that's another thing definitely to deep condition a little bit more often probably than you normally would do in the summertime or you know warmer months any tips for like your next day or like third day hair or how long do you guys actually go with like not like washing it like how long yeah. is that period for you I mean mine's kind of dependent but how about you guys mm -hmm. what do you think um I I tend to go days without washing my hair which isn't always the best but I think um, I certainly can't wash it every day. Like, oh, that's definitely totally not. understood like yeah. there's just no way because mm -hmm. um, our hair just needs so much it will get too dry yeah so um I think if I really want it to look nice like this um, probably every three days or four mm -hmm. um, what I do is like a second day is um, well first of all I sleep with like a cap on oh okay so there are different kinds that you can get sure. you could <laughs> you could do a cuter like scarf or like a satin pillow I just have this um, this nightcap from Sally's. Do you put Sally's your hair up at all? Like, do you do a pi pineapple? Yeah, that's my well, go-to. <laughs> so I basically just tip my head over. Well, first of all, I spray this Set It Free by oh, Diva okay. Curl. Yeah, so it's for like a second day situation. So I spray I spray that on my hair, and then I tip my head over and I just wrap it inside the cap and mm -hmm. I just stuff it in there and scrunch it in there. And I just find the next day my hair is really bouncy and mm -hmm. I can even still wear it down. Mm -hmm. um, depending on how much care I put into doing it the first time, mm -hmm. like I did today, um, and just making sure I go through my whole head and not be lazy, um, it will last for 
a couple of days yeah, and look nice cool. and yeah. so that's great because I'm a little more on the end of like I don't want a big process yeah. so yeah, same here. and sometimes I feel like our hair could be high maintenance but I think if we if you get a routine that you like and it um, works products, yeah it'll yeah. really last and so that's what I do for second day really love that um and then like third day I tend to wear my hair up with clips where'd it go here it is I have like I'll Instead of doing a ponytail or like a bun, mm -hmm. I'll clip my hair up with like three of these little clips mm -hmm. um, in different sides. And so it looks kind of like a, a thicker ponytail, but I just feel like, you know, my curls are out, it's bouncy, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I like cute. it, it feels comfortable for me. And yeah. it doesn't um, make my hair like, you know that band around your hair when you yes. have an elastic? Because uh -huh. yeah. your hair, our, our hair will just mold to like an elastic it, Yeah, band. it does, it yeah. does. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, for me, like I, I do the pineapple, so I do put an elastic like um, uh, hair hair tie, but like I put it so far up here, like so up here, so it doesn't really see. You don't really see the the crease that it can create in my hair. So, um, and I feel like the fact that like my curls are in such a healthier state, like when I had like my curls that were damaged. My, de my hair would just definitely conform to whatever I put it into, but now they kind of just like kind of stay a little bit longer. And like she mentioned, if you have a routine and good products that like work for your hair and you do like your routine well the first time, after that you can go four or five days not having to like restyle or do anything. And that's why I feel like my hair being curly is so much easier for me to maintain um, than when I used to straighten my hair because my hair would get greasy True. and then I would have to like <laughs> always kind of try to do a little more hairstyles which is fine yeah. because you know you want to change up how you look with your hairstyles and all of that but like with my hair being curly it's just so much easier i think mm -hmm. you just do it right the first I have time i to add and something then, with that too yeah. with the hair straightener mm -hmm. if you're trying to go curly or go natural like lose the hair straightener yeah if you want to straighten your hair get your hair blow dried or you know have a friend do it or figure out how to do it well because that hair straightener will just like cause so much damage just in one yeah it one does. try it does so yeah and it definitely affects the look of your curl so mm -hmm. and you know what else like stick with it if you're if you're wanting to go curly and you're getting discouraged because you've been straightening it for a while and you just don't know what to do just like don't get discouraged just go yeah. through it it's gonna it's gonna turn out amazing I mean Seriously. like it'll get to a point where it'll find its curl again mm -hmm. and it'll look beautiful you just have to stick with it I was going to say totally before, you, you should tell them, um, <laughs> you should tell them, like, when did you start going to wearing your hair natural and curly? Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, like, from the beginning? Well, yeah, like, your first like, process. Like, when you started when you, to really commit to it. More. Yeah, yeah. Maybe really committed a year and a half ago. Um... And then, <laughs> that's beautiful. And then, I, I, like when they got here to my house, because we're filming in my house, and I was like, oh, such beauties. Like, they're, first of all, they're beautiful. And then their hair is just, you can see, like, we all have, like, different curl pattern, and, like, I think they're all just so pretty. And that's why I wanted to bring them on, so you guys can see other girls with different, like, curls and texture, so you guys can, you know, see it and, get tips from other people because you know not all of the people who are probably watching have the same curls that I do so like you definitely can see from these girls like how beautiful their hair is and how they you know took care of it because I'm sure they've gone through their own process of like having Honey. damaged curls and then <laughs> getting to their hair that it yeah. is now like it's a process and she, like she said you have to have the patience and don't get discouraged but yeah, yeah. But if you do decide to flat iron your hair, which is fine every once in a while, yeah. I would invest in a really high-end flat iron. Um, and then everyone knows their hair. It's all about the plates of the flat iron. So if you're burning your hair, your hair is going to be <laughs> that much more difficult for your hair to bounce back. Yeah. And then also, if you are going to flat iron your hair and you do straighten it or you revert back to curls and maybe your curls are kind of whatever, just learning how to navigate the style around, surrounding that like flimsy piece of hair. Yeah. So on my sides, um, my hair is way softer. So the sides of my hair are straighter than the rest of my hair. So I will ju just come up with a style. Um, 
And I just put bobby pins here so that the rest of it, it just doesn't look like, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. And then in the front of my hair too, if you, well, when I do a twist out, I'll put extra product on the front and then twist it, uh, maybe smaller twist or harder twist so that it catches out with the rest of my hair. So it's okay if you have a few damaged pieces, it happens, but yeah. also know how much your hair can take. Some people can just snap right back. That's true. So Inea, what's your like next day or like third day hair styles that you go to? <laughs> next day hair does not look the same as first day, not even close. So I twist about eight just as it is right now and then I wet it so in the morning um, it looks similar. And if I still don't like it then I'll do a high poof at the top or I'll do a bun or I'll do the bump at the front with the bobby pin and then straight back on the sides and then I just pin it how it wants to be pinned. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Um, my go-to hairstyles, um, so like the next day, well, for the next day, I, like I mentioned, put my hair up in a uh, pineapple and then so the next day I'll just take that out, wet it a little bit maybe, if I have time, um, and I'll just like fluff it and like be on the way. Sometimes I even, I'm in my car with my like hair from when I woke up and then I'll take it out in the car and fluff it. Um, Another go-to would be a bun, that's like probably my easiest and like favorite like go-to. Um, and I go to work and some people think that I took a really long time to do it when I really didn't. It's like effortless for me, um, so that's definitely one of my go-tos. If I want to seem a little bit more like put together, I will do a, like a twisty like in the front and pin it back. Or I'll do like two braids and like pin it back. Or I'll do like a half up and half down. So those have been my go-to oh, to I stretch out. <laughs> yeah, to stretch out like my hairstyles and like my wash and go. So yeah, those are my go-to. Hi, I'm Amaryllis and you can follow each of us on our own social media. Um, I'll list all of the uh, links down below to the Instagram and Twitter. And I'm also going to place our um, social media names here so that you can see how it's spelled and all of that. So you can follow me on Instagram at Blooming Curls. And you can follow me on Twitter at BloomingCurls24. And I'm Inea. You can follow me on Instagram, Smiley Spice, and Twitter, Smiley Spice. Again, I'm Arielle, and you can follow me on Instagram at Ariella Bell. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Thank you!